This man is going to the toilet, but pulling down there is nothing. Look down to see his big baby is actually gone. He was completely devastated. He slipped and hit his head against the pipe next to him. This is completely cold, but this man also deserved it. A few days ago, he and some friends were having fun at a party. From a distance, he saw a beautiful red dress. Lucy was dancing with her friends on the dance floor. He took the initiative to talk to her, but Lucy didn't care. When the conversation failed, they were furious. So while she was out on the phone alone, they tied her up in a van. In the van, Lucy was subjected to inhuman torture. The bastards raped her for two hours. Finally, they treated Lucy like garbage. They threw Lucy into the gutter with their feet. Children are precious to their parents. The family did not wait for Lucy's mother to return. She came to the dance herself to look for her. Still no sign of Lucy. Finally, the mother chose to call the police. But the police only dealt with the case in a haphazard manner. She was told to go home and wait for the news. The next morning, a morning walker found Lucy in the ditch. The mother got the news and rushed to the hospital. In the ward, Lucy was covered with instruments. Her face and body were covered with injuries. She couldn't believe that she was seeing her daughter. The doctor told her that Lucy had been attacked. She was gang raped by several people. Her body had been severely damaged. After hearing this, the mother was in pain. She cried her heart out. Lucy woke up and remembered what happened that night. She bravely provided information to the police. It didn't take long for several gangsters to be arrested one by one. The two sides argued in court. In the end, because of the lack of evidence, the thugs were released in court. The father was in a state of grief and anger. He punched the gangsters directly in the face. The judge took the father away for contempt of court. The mother saw this scene and found it very ironic. Daughter's rapist and family hugging happily together. And the victim's family was found guilty. After the daughter was released from the hospital, mental problems have appeared. She deeply felt the injustice of the world. She decided to punish the villains in her own way. This woman kept cutting apples, but what she wanted was the seeds inside. This mother's daughter was gang raped by four men. After a private detective's investigation, the mother soon learned what each of them liked. The first punk liked to work out. It had a habit of eating protein powder all year round. The mother who was eating an apple, looking at the spit out apple seeds. As a biology teacher, she quickly came up with the perfect plan for revenge. The cyanide in apple seeds is only one. Five grams mixed with protein powder. It can be extremely toxic. So her mother cut up a large number of apples and crush the apple seeds into powder, sneak into the punk's house, put them in the protein powder he eats every day. When he woke up in the morning, he took a sip of the protein powder and started to lose consciousness. His whole body was convulsing and foaming at the mouth. Luckily, his brother found it at home. After being taken to the hospital, his life was saved, but not to avoid lifelong paralysis. The second punk was an old pervert. When he saw a beautiful woman, he couldn't go away, so his mother took advantage of this, hired two beautiful women to lure him into the car. Soon the old pervert was trapped and knocked unconscious by two beautiful women. When he woke up again, but he found his balls were gone. In his excitement, he slipped and fell, he hit his head on the pipe next to him, and that's how he died. The first punk's brother's house alarm went off. The police came to the house to check it out. They found a lot of apple pieces, and the search box on the computer showed where the cyanide was made. He was sentenced to life in prison for murder, and this man was the third gangster. The mother came to the hospital to see the paralyzed jerk, admitting that she did it all, because that's what they deserve. None of the four could escape. One after another, the villains were punished. The daughter's mental state gradually improved. One day the father's phone received a travel photo from his daughter. The father was overjoyed, so they decided to have a family trip. Three brothers got into trouble one after another. The fourth gangster, Jack, sensing that something was wrong, so he came to the bed of the paralyzed gangster to ask about the situation. When the song changed after a lot of effort, finally squeezed out the word, mom, from his mouth. After saying it, he died. Jack knew exactly who it was. He swore that he would help the three brothers to take revenge. And this fourth gangster was the most vicious of the four of them. The girl was bullied by four scumbags in turn. Afterwards, she was dumped in a ditch, but the court did not have enough evidence. The four scumbags were acquitted. This made the mother, who was deeply in justice, decided to take revenge in her own way. The family of four went to the scenic spot and had a great time. In the evening, they went back to the hotel and the power went out. The father went to look for the waiter, only to find him killed in the room. When he turned around, Jack shot the father in the back. Daughter Lucy was lighting candles. The sudden appearance of a figure in the mirror startled her. It was Jack. Lucy was defying to shout out. Luckily, her mother came in time to cover Lucy's departure. Jack grabbed a plastic bag and strangled his mother's head. The mother's breathing became weaker and weaker, and she died soon after. Jack got up and went after Lucy. Lucy ran into the woods and Jack followed closely behind, and the mother inside the house. After choking twice, she was alive again. It turns out that just now she was acting. The mother also went after her, but Jack attacked her from behind and knocked her down with a stick. Jack pulled out a gun to kill the mother. In the nick of time, a gunshot. Jack was shot in the arm. The police arrived in time. It turns out that he learned it from the detective's video diary. Jack was going to kill the family, so he came to protect them. Jack was no easy target. He fought with the police. They fought to a standstill. In the nick of time, the mother picked up Jack's gun and aimed at him. The police advised him not to shoot impulsively to kill. Otherwise, he could go to jail. The woman muttered to herself. She couldn't accept the assault of her daughter happened again. The cop couldn't bear to hand her his gun. He said it would be legal. Kill him now before anyone else does. But the kind-hearted mother saw Jack, who kept begging for mercy. She hesitated to kill him. At that moment, her daughter came out from the side. She remembered all that her daughter had suffered, and her eyes were cold. 
home. A few shots kill Jack. Finally, the four villains have been duly punished one after another. Well, this video is over. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.